Okay, HMO here. We're gonna. I've been asked how we set up Shadow of the Tomb Raider to run it in your Oculus Rift. So here we'll do it as easy as possible. First thing you want to do is you'll want to download Warpex. If you don't have it, you'll have to get it. Uh, get it off the website, warpex.com. Once you have it downloaded, installed. You will have to pay for it. It's not a free program. It's $40 last time I checked. First thing you'll want to do is you'll want to start Warpex. Double click, click it. It'll load. Give it time to load. Once it's load, you'll want to configure it. You can do it several ways. You can do it by your taskbar or you can just click configure Warpex. Double click it. It'll bring it up. Here we have it. First thing we want to do is we'll want to make a shadow profile to get one. I've made one and uploaded it. I did it on the first day it was released. Uh, just go to Cloud Profiles, Game App, just type in Shadow of the Tomb Raider. You won't even have to type all of it in. It comes in. You'll see Shadow of the Room Tomb Raider HMO. Click on it. Now description on here was for day one and day one had some bugs. You could side by side separation. You couldn't use the separation because it would gray out your screen. That's no longer true. Don't worry about it. All you want to do now is import profile. Once you import it, you want to apply and close. And Shadow of the Tomb Raider Vorpex is now installed on your machine. So go ahead and close this window. It will not shut down Vorpex. You have to do it manually in the taskbar. So Vorpex is loaded. Now we can go right to Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Well, you'll want to start Oculus, your Oculus Rift first, I guess. So we don't get everybody confused. Go ahead and start up your Oculus once it loads up. Minimize the window. Don't need it open any longer. Now we'll start Shadow of the Tomb Raider. We'll bring up our load screen. And you'll see Vorpex is attaching to it. Go to Options. I just run it at full screen. Uh, I don't know if they fix it. They had some full screen exclusive bugs. You want to turn DirectX off. Vorpex does not run in Direct. DirectX 12, you'll want to turn it off. So we can use 11. You'll want to hit stereoscopic down here, side by side. And you'll have your monitor. I use my uh, desktop resolution 2160 by 1200 because I get the best port to my Oculus Rift. It's natural. Uh, you can use 1080p. It doesn't make any difference. I just do it because I feel like I get a better I get a better view. Graphics, set them however you want your your to run. Uh, high settings work fine. Medium settings work fine. I have found that the ultra highs and stuff, it doesn't really make any difference because of the uh, Vorpex. Uh, your resolution in, is only so good. So it doesn't, doesn't really matter. If you're running it on medium settings, you're going to find your frame rate will probably be better. And the quality is going to be just as good as you have it on high as far as what you see in your Oculus Rift. It's up to you. It's personal preference. Set it how you want it. Once we've done that, now all we have to do is hit play and go into the game. And then we'll set up side-by-side -side settings. Once the game loads, it'll start loading. You should see the Vorpex logo down at the bottom and let you know that Vorpex is running. As you can see, we have Vorpex running. Take a little longer to load than it should.
There it goes. And then we'll go up here. And we'll go ahead and go into your rift. And notice you'll have side-by-side -side screens already. Put your rift on. You'll only have one screen. Uh, I'm going to start my uh, controller here. We'll go to options. We'll go down here to display and graphics. And we'll be in display. You'll want to scroll down. Make sure the first one, it'll say DirectX 12 off. Now that is going to be true. If it's on, you will not be using Vorpex. You can see I run at 2160 by 1200. Uh, V-Sync will be on. Uh, it doesn't really make any difference whether you turn it on and off in the first screen. Side-by-side -side stere stereoscopic. You want it side-by-side. -side. The separation, I have about four clicks to the right. It'll start at zero, and I go one, two, three, four. Now I'm four clicks. Your pop-out is the depth of your... Uh, is the depth of your 3D. You can increase it as much as you want. You can you can lower it. Uh, you can see basically where I run the setting. Uh, anything too much. I don't like anything less. You don't get enough 3D and it takes the enjoyment out of it. Once you've got that set up then you can just exit out of this screen. You don't need to go anywhere else. Your 3D is set up. You'll see the 3D even in this screen. Once you're in your when you're in your rift, you can tell it's 3D. You've got the bugs flying. You've got the monolith here. You can all see it's in 3D. You can increase that by increasing your pop out will make it more distinctive. And then all you have to do is go back and hit continue or start a new game, and you'll be in. Shadow of the Tomb Raider in 3D. In your rift. Can't ask for anything better. As soon as it loads up here, and as you can see, I'm at a campsite and I've got 3D. I have complete head tracking. Uh, all the head tracking stuff is set in the profile. You can adjust it if you'd like to in your Vorpex profile. Then I showed you how to download. You can tweak it to your personal preferences. You might not like mine. But I, as you can see, you have no trouble looking around. You have complete head tracking. And uh, I uh, use a 360 Xbox controller. And that's all there is to to get this little game running in 3D in your Oculus Rift. Thanks for watching.